Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay. It is that time again. It is what sold. Mm -hmm. So what sold for us on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari? Well, we're about to let you know, and you'll be surprised. There's a lot of different kinds of things. Yeah, for sure. As always, we love to sell just about everything. So uh, let's get right to it. Yes. All right. So first off, we have a few things here that uh, Michelle, honey, that you have sold yes. and this one right here in particular is probably one of the oldest ones right here this is a pair of levi's 511 faded gray wash skinny jeans yes really cool actually they're, i kind of like these they are really cool actually yeah mm -hmm. and there's that, that great gray color and they have a very unique pocket on the back of it i'm actually really surprised they didn't sell a little faster but yeah. we'll take it yeah for sure <laughs> we will take 25 dollars for those all day long yeah we love selling levi's in fact i just listed like eight pairs of levi's yesterday you did bravo <laughs> thank you <laughs> So um, next going out, um, also in this little area, we just went ahead and selected a few of these. Um, this one was a Joe Boxer Cobalt Blue String Bikini, size oh, large, and that's this. sold for $18. I love this bikini. I love the Cobalt Blue color, and if it was my size, I would have kept it. Yes, some very pretty girls wearing this gorgeous bikini. I know, that's awesome. $18 for a used swimsuit. That's pretty awesome. I know, right? Yeah. Also, um, kind of for the season, this is a Lands and Girls Llama Print yes. hooded raincoat size 10 and 12. Yes. Now that one we selected, uh, you just listed this, honey. So we had to run downstairs because it's in your office <laughs> in the bin. Yes, I just listed this. And this is a perfect example of looking in the children's department. This is a kid's Lands and Llama raincoat. I think it was a size 10, 12, if I'm not mistaken. I see. It is adorable. It's got a pink, <laughs> cute little um, zipper on the front of it. And I got it at a garage sale for like 50 cents, no joke, and sold it for $24, right? Yeah, 24 bucks for that. that. So Land's End. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you've taught me so much about Land's End and stuff like that. Like you used to do some modeling for them, you were telling me, and things I like did that. A yeah. lot. I did a lot of work for Land's End in Japan actually oh, awesome. <laughs> so cool yeah. and they make some good uh quality clothes they especially do. would you say like outdoor clothes sort of like ll bean like this next sale ll bean exactly yeah. a good competitor <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna find this ll bean shirt that you sold in bin bin three right over here oh no i'm sorry actually honey it's right uh, below you over here ah! right at the bottom there uh, oh no 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 i'm sorry bin three is over here help Oh, I'm so confused. We're over this way. I've been three over this way. <laughs> we have Rose in our room. <laughs> Help, where am I? <laughs> been three. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Huh. Bin All right. Three. So it is actually the striped ones right here, actually. Oh, oh my God. Oh, thank off. you for helping me with that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I just listed this one because it has like these really cool old school stripes on it. Uh huh. This is holy crap. This bin. Okay. Yeah, this thing went for $20. Awesome. I need a shower now. Oh, my gosh. It's a little, little stifly up here. Yes, it has these really cool colors on it. LL Bean. This is a classic brand stamp here. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Had to grab it. Yeah, super good sale there. We always like that. Another good brand to look out for. Uh huh. Especially um, with the retro -y kind of colors. For sure. All the stripes and stuff. All right. Uh, next, uh, this is something that you listed also not too long ago because let's see, this is in. Um, Excuse I'm like me. ready. Let me check. Yeah, I know, right? Waiting. Where is it? We are in bin J4. So J4. J4 is over here somewhere. And that is a Under Armour men's camo pullover <gasps> hoodie sweatshirt. It sold? It sold for $22. It did. Awesome. I remember I was doing a bargaining deal back and forth. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, 22 bucks that went for. That's a pretty cool... Uh, um, you know, like a little pickup there. It was also like new without tags. It had like the sticker, yeah. but no tags. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. 22 bucks. Awesome. Camo colors. Super Can't cool. go wrong with camo colors for outdoor wear either. I know, right? They seem to, when you throw camo in your listing, you know, it seems to get a few more views. It really does. Yeah. So, okay. So next, uh, last one going out on Poshmark is something that we're going to find in the shoe room. 
So if you want to follow me over here, honey. The shoe room. Yeah. Oh, go on with your bad self in your uh -huh. bad shoes. <laughs> what shoes did you sell, honey? All right. So uh, you'll remember us finding these in a yard sale video where we went to a bunch of them. And we found this one where the lady was like, the clothes are free. And there were a ton of oh, them. Oh, yes. This one. Yes. And yes. We got a bunch of shoes. We got a bunch of awesome clothing. And this is one of them, a pair of Converse All-Star leopard print shoes. And they went for $18, uh, youth <laughs> size. That's pretty cool. The leopard print ones are adorable. For sure. Yeah. So we made a little room over here, mostly shoes. Our shoe room. See uh, how the... Wait, to see how the grass is doing, our clover lawn. We've been watering it. Well, Dustin's been watering it three times a day. It looks good. It oh looks my gosh. good. I'm so happy for it. It's, you know, it's starting to come in now. <laughs> <laughs> all that watering. It's fun. I love being outdoors and, you know, making things grow and all that. So it's it's been a lot of fun watching that grow. We'll have to show you uh, how it's coming along here at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, now that we got these out for 18 bucks, we're gonna move on to... Oh, I'm sorry, I stepped on the Sniffinator. What's oh, your name again? Pooper Sniffer? Here's McSniff. Oh, McSniff. <laughs> okay. Okay, so speaking, uh, it's perfect time for Elmer to walk in because now we are <laughs> gonna package out some all absorb, super absorbent, disposable doggy diapers. Hey! Or like trainers, like training pads. Elmer, you oh. don't need PP pads, no, do you? No, he doesn't need those anymore. No, you're a big boy. You're a big boy now. So those uh, we put in bin C, and you'll remember us finding these, I believe, at uh, Valley Village in a video. So check that out. We probably paid like two bucks for these, and they sold on Mercari for fourteen dollars plus shipping. Wait a minute. You know yeah. what? I just saw those, babe. Okay. At the dollar store, I think. Uh, those big things. Yes. No joke. We're g I'm serious. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, but I do think I did. I saw them. Okay. Well, they might be like the five dollar stuff because you know how they they do. You know, like five dollars stuff at the dollar store now. Yeah, that's possible, but that might be a good pickup. You yeah, know, if they'll sell for fourteen bucks right away. Absolutely. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to eBay. There's a few sales, and this one is one of my favorites because my gosh, I'm from Minnesota, and if you're a Minnesotan, you know that spam was uh, invented there. So, along with many other things, like Minnesota is like known as an invention state. Like, there's inventors that live there. Also prints and all a bunch of fun stuff. But spam is something that comes from Minnesota and this says got spam right here. <laughs> and this hat's been sitting around for a long time. I contemplated keeping it, but waiting for the right buyer sold for $34.99. Wow. <laughs> so I guess we'll take it. Yeah. We'll take it. Um, I probably found this in the Goodwill bins back in Minneapolis. And um, let's see here. Okay, so next going out we have something that you will remember us finding in a recent church sale video where we found um, a bunch of stuff. I mean, she gave us an amazing deal for like $20. We also walked out of there with like a drum kit and all that fun stuff. So, oh, yeah, the drum kit. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> all right, so we'll find that right over here in bin E3. Whoa, traffic jam. All right, now this right here is a bulb head, um, gosh, what is this thing? Uh, cup call, crane, car, smart fold holder. It was new in the box. Um, I went for 12 bucks plus shipping. Um, I just saw that it had a good sell through rate, so I picked it up. Hmm. And it was basically stuff a bag, so we probably got this for like, you know, a dollar or something like that with all the things that we got that day. <laughs> uh, here's something that, um, you won't remember us finding, but you and I, honey, uh, we ate a bunch of kids' meals and came up with uh, this lot of 15 boxes of Wendy's kids' meal DC Heroes minifigures. So we lotted those all up. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, that how many of them did we have to eat? Uh, quite a few. Like 15 or 16? Yeah, there's 15 in here. So, at, and we, one, at one point in time, yeah, we, you know, we went back to try to collect the whole set. You know, we wanted to get the whole set. We never actually got the whole set. So we just uh, lighted everything up and 35 bucks plus shipping. So we paid for these. We could have sat and uh, sold these individually. I saw them selling individually for like $6 plus shipping, but we don't really want to deal with that, like, you know, small stuff really anymore. So 
We will uh, just line them up, and we got a nice uh, 35 bucks. Yay, $35, right, Forrest? Uh-huh. Forrest is like, that's my dog food. <laughs> All right. So um, last but not least, uh, this is a smaller item, but we did get shipping with it. Now you'll remember uh, me finding this in our most viewed video. There's over like 12,000 views or something on it. And this was when I was at a church community sale. And I walked over there with just bags and bags and bags, Ikea bags worth of stuff. This was one of them. It's a Hatchimals six inch uh, interactive plush toy. Um, so, I mean, maybe look out for these. Uh, this one wasn't even in really great condition, but it's still sold for $8 plus shipping. Um, I don't even know. I took the batteries out, of course, because you don't want to send oh. things with batteries. Cute. Well, he's cute. Yeah. So, um. I mean, I probably wouldn't, you know, pick this up again just because it's eight bucks or something and sat around for a long time. Yeah. But uh, if you find a collection of them or something, it might be worth, you know, throw yeah. them in a lot for 30, 40 bucks. Sometimes it'd just be like that, yeah. right? We have yeah. this kind of sales, $8 sales. <laughs> take them. That's okay though. You know, if they take only like a minute or two worth of work, you know, I mean, you times that say by 30 and you make $4 uh, every two minutes. I mean, that's $120 an hour. So, I mean. Not too shabby. You can't beat that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we hope you have an amazing day of sales and get that stuff packaged out and to your customers in one piece. Thanks for joining us mm -hmm. as usual. And we can't wait to see you on our next What's Soul video. Have an awesome day. Yeah, guys. Take care. Hats up to you. Bye.